how to check an Amazon products organic and sponsored rank history. All right. So in the previous strategy, we talked about how to just see the total number. But how do you actually see what they were ranking for and when? Why do you want to see this? Why is this important? How can it make you money? Uh, again, the example I gave earlier of a beach ball, you know, if I'm going to launch a beach ball in July of next year, or maybe I'll launch it in spring, but you know, the main focus is going to be in June, July, August in December, I can't really do keyword research on this product and know what are the best keywords, right? I need to go find who was one of the top selling beach balls in June, July, or August of last year. And then I want to analyze them, not in December of this year, when nobody is searching for beach balls and they might not even have their listing active, but I want to see what were the keywords driving the sales of that product during that time of year. Maybe there's other products where, um, I could see that they had a certain spike in a certain month, regardless of see, maybe it's not a seasonal product at all. It's a product like a power bank or something that people buy throughout the year. But I notice in a certain month, they had a lot of sales. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I want to compare what keywords and where they were ranking for in the month before their sales went up and then compare it to the month where their sales went up and which keywords increased in rank organic or sponsored. Guess what? That is the reason of why their sales went up. I can literally tie a sales increase, at least part of their sales increase to exact keywords so that now I know for my product, which keywords I want to focus on of which potentially could increase my sales. So how can we do that? Let's go ahead and hop into it. So again, uh, if I see a, a, let's pretend that this coffin shelf here had a, a spike in sales uh, on a certain year, like November of 2022. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click historical trend, and then I'm going to find the month uh, where they had the, the big sales. Now, before I even do that, I might go into the previous month and have that Cerebro open in another window uh, so I can see where they were ranked on a quote unquote normal month. But let me show you, uh, I just click on this exact date here of November, 2022, and then I'm going to hit apply filters. And now this is like taking a time machine because it is now going to show me the Cerebro as if I was doing this in November of 2022. That's what it is showing now. And then now I can go ahead and use Helium 10 filters and say, hey, show me of the keywords that had at least 300 search volume during um, you know October of 2022. Where were they ranked between positions one and 20? And then now all of a sudden I can see the exact keywords that they were probably getting a lot of their sales from. And then again, what I'm going to do is if I was trying to see uh, a spike in sales, like where the keywords coming from, I'm going to take one of the months where their sales were down and then compare keyword by keyword, which one they had a big increase or which one they hopped to the top of page one. And now I know exactly why they had a spike in sales. That customer, if they're not even using Helium 10 or they're not looking at this data, they probably don't even know themselves. Uh, I say that customer, that competitor, they probably don't even know themselves why they had the spike in sales, but I can actually see that now. And now I'm going to use that data to make sure that I get ahead. So guys, this, I cannot emphasize how valuable this feature is. Nobody has ever had anything like this. Super, super uh, important that can really get you ahead looking at either spikes in sales, valleys in sales. You know, it's the opposite. I didn't really mention that. But let's say you notice a competitor a certain month had a terrible month, even though they were in stock. Obviously, if they're out of stock, well, they would have a bad month. But they were in stock. They had a terrible month of sales. Well, I'm, I'm going to look at when they had a great month right before. And I'm going to look at what keywords they went down in rank. What keywords did they take the pedal off the metal uh, for their sponsored ranks? And then now I know the keywords. I need to make sure that I don't fall off because now I know that, hey, if I fall off on these keywords, it could result in another sales, uh, you know, a sales lull like it did for my competitors. So, guys, this is probably top one, top two around their uh, favorite features in all of Helium 10. Out of the 75 million things that Helium 10 can do, this right here is one of my favorites, and this is what could really, really give you a leg up on the competition, historical Cerebro, so make sure to use it.